hello and welcome to this vlog um it is currently thursday and i don't have any information for you except for the fact that i've been packing and i've been packing a lot of stuff i've been packing my books for kickstarter it's been taking a while i also got very sick after a thought bubble who'd have thought me sick i guess sick all the time it's really annoying i take my vitamins i swear Anyway, uh, I'm working away now, so got to be quick. This is my day job, um, but here is a packing vlog for you guys. I don't know if you can hear that tape in the background. That's Chris still packing away. Can you believe that? The Kickstarter rewards should be soon with people, I hope, depending on the mail times, because mail times can sometimes be slow for some reason. And I don't know why my voice is so low, and it, I had a really bad cough. So it's kind of like sc creaking door vibes but just let it go anyway thanks for watching here's the vlog uh it's really short and but i really love watching packing videos so hopefully kind of something chill to have on in the background whilst you guys work these are some packaging that i ordered from vog grace they kindly gifted all this to me so these are the packaging that i will be putting the acrylic charm and the stickers in for the kickstarter and I've also got a sticker that goes wrapped around the front, so we're going to unbox that now and see what it looks like. I'll take one of these out and uh, have a look. But there should be about 100 of these boxes, so there'll be enough to send out to all the Kickstarter backers. The heavy box. Okay, and let's open this one, which I'm really excited about, because this is going to be the acrylic charms and uh, the stickers, hopefully. So let's see what they look like. Oh. It never feels good using a knife on top of this because it's like, what if you hit the stuff inside? Um, basically, they've packaged it really well, so it's just not going to get any rain on it at all. Also, it took two days to ship here, which I think is absolutely crazy because it came from China. And they were like, oh, your order's ready and it's going to be shipped. It's going to take, I think it said like two to ten days. And I was like, it's probably going to take ten days, isn't it? Because that's like normal. But no, it took, it was quick. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there's a weird like side bit. Okay. So that was super fast. Um, I don't know if that's always the case. I hope it is. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna test and see the stuff from Vogue Grace, which is a printing company in China. Um, and they have kindly gifted me the opportunity to print this stuff to show you guys so i lost the audio for the other clip so i'm just going to walk you through opening up this stuff from vogue grace i don't know if it's vogue grace vogue grace i don't know how to pronounce it but i got so here is the acrylic charm and it has like glitter flakes in it so it's kind of like holographic shards throughout the charm and it turns around and you see like the demon side of her image which i think is really cool because basically it's like a nice picture of a bride and then it's the demon and also the the clasp is a little moon because you could there was like a few different options for the clasp and i thought the moon was just the most fitting i just thought it was pretty and uh worked well i also got these stickers these stickers are just to go and seal the boxes with and I thought it was really nice to utilize that imagery from the kickstarter because I really like this image and then I realized I'm only going to use it on the kickstarter which was strange so I decided to make this image uh, a little nod to that so we've got these boxes these packaging boxes which are going to hold the acrylic charms and the stickers so I'm going to put the sticker on the front like this to keep them sealed and I think it looks really nice in the end I think it's a really nice little package to get for a kickstarter reward I also printed lots of glow in the dark stickers these big vinyl stickers they actually were bigger than I thought they were going to be but when I ordered them I was like oh these are big but it's fine it's incredible uh, so I got a lot of different ones. Basically, if you haven't been following the project, these are like little items that you might get from an antique shop or a thrifting place and they all have their own little stories behind them. I also made a print of all those things and uh, these come directly from the print by, because they're a bit bigger, I painted over them a little bit in Photoshop. But look, I love this one the best. I think the little crystal ball with the eye in it 
and they also glow in the dark which is super cool i love that i really love glow in the dark stuff i don't know about you guys but we've got this skull one which i really like too and yeah they're looking really great they came out so nice and vogue grace was so friendly and helpful and it was really really a nice process it was just i sent them the file i said do i have to do anything for the glow in the dark like what bits and they were like don't worry we'll sort it out and they just did it for me and it looks so nice and they all have like this bluey tinge to them which is what i did um so they all match each other which is really nice and they're all these little things that you might get from an antique shop so like this little glass bottle that comes from an unknown country i don't know and then also i did a little doll's house one which is definitely haunted and yeah i just got loads of packs of these stickers which is so satisfying and these are all the stickers together so they'll be piled like this but inside the box so i was just trying to figure out how to make them look and i think this is just going to be really nice so these are all the things i got from vogue grace thank you so much again to them for considering me and my backers because we these were going to be the tiers these acrylic charms uh for hitting each goals but we didn't hit the goal for the acrylic charm but what happened was i asked them if like hey could you sponsor me and then i can give all these acrylic charms to my backers and it was so nice to just be able to give that little extra thing um just just for fun basically and for everyone supporting me on the kickstarter i just thought it would be really nice and uh yeah so this is how the box looks I, this is how they're going to be delivered they also the acrylic charms have those plastic seals on the front that you have to peel off um so bear that in mind if you are getting one of these my voice is also messed up because i've had a cold all week but please ignore that and this is how it looks i think i went back in and i changed how that sticker goes because it, it definitely shouldn't overlap at the bottom if that makes sense so i stuck it down so it meets from the edge to the top that doesn't make sense but i hope it makes sense so that's how the box looks and i think it's really nice i think it's nicely sealed and safe for people and so the packing commences and uh, this is a really long just packing vlog so just i hope you enjoy because it's already like been 10 minutes so maybe you can get on with stuff as you watch this i don't know uh, uh that's it Pesto. So you can't be up here because you're gonna scratch the boxes. So figuring out how to package this thing, <laughs> this thing, the book. I've got the print here, which came in this box. So there's loads of prints. So I've got all the so I've got all the prints here. Um I'm just gonna lay them out. There's more than I need. Because I think I only need to send out 70... Ow. There's more than I need. Because I think I only need to send out 70. But I've got more than that here. Books. Um, packages in a... I did order some of these um, plastic sleeves. A5. I don't know where they've gone. So I'm going to have to find them. But I was just seeing if this fit inside my bubble mailers. Which it does not. It looks like it should it's the same size but it like doesn't go in and then also we have this little box on top so this is going to be the parcel that each kickstarter backer reward uh, kick backer starter reward kickbacker what <laughs> this is going to be the rewards that the kickstarter backers get and i just need to order some new envelopes i guess some bigger ones so i'm just trying to figure out what those would be like because i do want them to be bubble mailers so stuff doesn't get squashed or even with a, like a hard back, so I have to figure that out as well. Um, it could be like these ones. I don't know if that's too big, because then it will have to be a large letter, which will cost more in shipping. So I have to figure out how to 
get that done. So this will definitely fit in here. Mm. Well, I guess it was time to scour the internet for some good packaging. But this is it. It's nearly done. And I just, you'll probably see a compilation now of me figuring out how to package everything and then also like just doing it all. I guess I could get started on doing all the boxes. Because these look, these look so sweet now. I love them. Really happy that I got them. So these are from Vogue Grace as well. You can order them um, so they pack the stickers inside. But I opted to pack them myself because uh, it would be less money. But also I wanted to put the acrylic charm in there as well. And then you make your own sticker. So it's like your packaging plus your own sticker. Um, and I really like the way the sticker came out. It's like, I think people could peel that off and keep it as well, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, it's like so sweet little bundle of goodies. I'd be really excited to receive this if I was on the receiving end of it, I think. So that would, that's nice. I like to see, look at things and be like, would I like to get this? And I do. So it's good. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got loads more to do. Um, want to get them shipped off as quickly as possible so that people can get their rewards and uh yeah so i'll just do probably a time lapse of me packaging now I'm pregnant, I'm really focusing on taking care of my body, both physically and mentally. So this private session with Amanda is exactly what I need right now.
get in a position where it can go south. Literally the ending sentence to his bio, and it made me roll my eyes. Aaron lives in the woods with his wife, dog, and deep personal traumas. Like, he's low-key. I mean, horror is- I love horror, but this was literally, like, a, someone was just trying to be as, like, shocking as possible with, like, not good writing. The story was doo-doo. The things he said that were, like, shocking- they were not necessary for the story. Like, bro was just trying to be literally nothing. that was it that was the vlog what did you think lots of packing um thanks for watching and please give this video a like and watch some extras that will appear soon on the screen if you want to help me live my youtube dreams <laughs> we're just slowly dying but it's fine who cares um thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye